For our final piece of this show, we'll head over to Suffolk Community College for our coverage of an event held by the Long Island Latino Teachers Association that inspired high school males to follow their dreams. Let's check it out. Can you tell me a little bit about your foundation and what you do? Yes, uh, our organization is the Long Island Latino Teachers Association. It was founded in 2006. Uh, our mission is to increase graduation rates and higher education enrollment. And uh, basically, we want is to help our students um, complete their high school. And by doing that, we reach out to parents, we reach out to schools, we expose them to events such as this one, the men's conference, to help them uh, realize about the importance of education. Uh, the conference today was basically to let these high school youngsters know that as adults, we care about their education, we care about their future. We want them to know that there are people there willing to help them, but they have to help themselves. They have to complete their high school and they have to pursue higher education. This country, without a high school or a college diploma, you're, you're subject to low paying jobs and we want them to understand that. A lot of the times we have a lot of students at the high school um, and some of them find themselves in very difficult situations and at times they don't really have someone to turn to and uh, to be able to ask questions and sort of like a mentor program. So um, I think this is a great opportunity to allow our best and brightest kids to come express themselves and to have opinions and to be able to know that they have options out there other than just what's within the community. The importance of the conference to me personally is you get a lot of kids motivated. Uh, the men's conference is about motivation, about getting kids thinking differently about whether it's in, in my field, finances, whether it's about life outside of high school. We have a lot of pr uh, great presenters that were able to cover a variety of different professions and, and occupations. Um, we had, you know, everywhere from music to politics and law, and I think that it's important to have a broad uh, spectrum of uh, different um, career opportunities that are out there for these kids, so I thought that everything put together was a great opportunity for them. Uh, right now we are working on a youth summit which will include both young men and young women. Uh, and the idea of this youth summit is to um, create uh, the possibility of a Bill of Rights for youth. Right now there exists a Bill of Rights for uh, in the United Nations for elderly, uh, for seniors, for young children, uh, for women. There's a Bill of Rights for different, uh, many protected groups. But there is no Bill of Rights for people 16 to 21. And people who are 16 to 21 do not enjoy the full rights of, cit of, of citizenship. There are certain things they're prohibited to uh, do because of their age. Uh, they're subjected to the draft. There's many issues within that age group that, that are not addressed. So uh, this conference will be broken up into workshops with the premise that if there is a Bill of Rights for youth, what would those rights be? Out of that conference, the young people will be constructing a Bill of Rights, and uh, a subcommittee will be submitting that to the United Nations for, for consideration. Now, someone who wants to get in, involved in some of these projects, what can they do? How do they contact you? Well, we have, uh, we're have we forming a steering committee of young people to run this conference. Um, they, you know, they will be part of uh, actually constructing the the conference and that steering committee will be set up in my office so that certainly anybody who's interested can call my office at 631-435-3214. Well that's all the time we have for this week's episode of Ultimate Athlete Magazine's UA Insider. Remember if you have an athlete or team that you think we should feature, email us at info at ultimateathletemagazine.com. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. I'm Jessica Peters. We'll see you next time.